take a look at how this portrait image has been transformed. Today I'm going to share with you Retouch for me. This is a bunch of plugins that can be used inside Photoshop. They can easily be applied instantly and they will make changes quickly, make them look professional and more importantly, make them look natural. Let's jump in and take a look. There is a panel which you can use, it's free. So you can download this from the Retouch for me website. And then when you've done that, you go into plugins, go to Retouch for me panel and click on that. And then this will show here on the right hand side. So what is this? It's a panel where your plugins are stored and you can choose which plugins you use and they will then automatically be added to this panel when you activate them. You've got Cloud Retouch. Now this is a subscription service. If you wanna sign up to that, you can do. You can get 200 retouches for $20 a month and this works out at 10 cents per credit if you're from America or it works out about eight pence or seven pence per retouch, which is very good value for money. But I'll leave that with you to check out in your own time. If you don't want to do the Cloud Retouch because you don't want to sign up to the subscription base, good news, you can just download them on your device like I did and you can get them individually or you can get them all. So I'm going to show you how these plugins are going to work for you and how you're going to benefit from using them. Now you can see that these have buttons here to activate each one of the plugins. So let's start from the top. We're going to use Heal. And you're probably aware of what this will do, but let's activate it. And this is going to heal the skin. Now, when we've selected heal, all we have to do is come down to retouch and that will make the changes. So that's took about three seconds and it's removed some of the blemishes you can see while keeping things natural in the skin. Now, anytime you want to increase or decrease, remember you've got opacity, which can make more of an effect or less of an effect to the change. Let's go along to dodge and burn because I can see quite a few areas here where the dark or the shadow on the skin is not blended very well. And this is where dodge and burn can really come in and make a huge difference to the look of your images. So I'm going to click off heal because we don't want to activate that again. And then I'm just simply going to go and click on dodge and burn. I'm going to go and press retouch and let's see the change it makes. And you can see that is a significant difference that has really blended and smoothed out those light and dark areas in the skin. Now let's have a look at the before and after on these two layers so you can see the difference that it's made. Look at all these areas here which have been taken care of and significantly been improved. Portrait Volumes is a brilliant plugin actually. And what it does is it really adds more depth and creates more of a contour in the face. So more structure and depth, as you'll see in a moment. So I'm gonna activate this plugin, press retouch, just put it on that layer there, and then you'll see the difference. Look at that there. You can see there's so much more depth in the skin because of the shadows which have naturally been applied to the structure of the face. So if we just switch this off, you can see that's made a beautiful difference to the overall image. Now inside each one of these plugins, there are options. Options to change the amount of the blend, which will increase the overall look. Or if you bring this down, it's going to decrease it. And you have portrait scale as well. This really tells the software if you're doing a close-up portrait, half length or full length. Now, a lot of times I will use auto. And that's because the AI algorithm inside this software is so good that it can actually look at the image and identify what is going on. So most times you can press auto and this is gonna work great for you. Skin Tone is a brilliant plugin for balancing out those areas in the skin which don't look like they match. We can see this area here is it's very orange and it doesn't really match with the rest of the skin. And you've also got some of that kind of bleeding out here onto the top of the cheekbones. So what we can do is we can use skin tone, we can activate that, and then you can see how it's really going to improve this significantly. And look at that. So if we switch this on and off, you can see that it's blended those areas. You can see that it's really made this orange area less saturated, 
which is important because you don't want the focus to be on the nose here. If anything, you want it to be on the eyes. So if you do want to increase that, we can of course push up the opacity and you can see that that's going to just smooth out that skin color a little bit more. And then let's have a look at the before and the after. It's made a real difference overall and now the skin matches all over the face. I think it's important to have a look at the before and after at this point in the retouch so you can see how far we've actually come. So I'm going to select all layers. I'm going to put them into a group and let's, oh, I've missed that one. Let's pop heel in there. And let's have a look at the difference we've made. So this is the original image. We've got lots of areas here. They stood out for all the wrong reasons. Got these dark areas here, which weren't blended very well into the skin. You've got some imperfections, which we took care of. And we've also balanced this color, which wasn't matching with the rest of the skin. And then when we put this back on, you can see the significant difference it's made while keeping everything looking natural. Let's take a look at a few others here, which can really improve this even more. So we're going to focus next on eye vessels, and this is going to remove those annoying little red areas in the corners of the eyes, which can actually really affect the look of the eyes overall. If we just switch this on, press retouch, and voila, the red areas, as you can see, have been removed. Now let's really complement this by using the eye brilliance tool, and this is really going to create a nice pop effect to the eyes where they're going to make them look brighter and they're going to stand out more in the portrait and look at that there we go and if we of course wanted to make any changes we can just once again use the opacity if we want to bring those down i'm just going to bring those down a little bit but not too much to keep this looking as natural as possible and i think with this retouch of sally here we have done a brilliant job we've kept it looking natural We've managed to retouch the skin and we've got that professional look. These retouching plugins are so simple to use as you've seen. And one thing I haven't showed you there, which is really cool, is you don't have to use these separately. You can use them all together. So let me just get rid of these now. So Sally returns back to normal. And then let me show you how you can actually click each one of these on, which we've just done. And then all we simply have to do now we've chosen them all is go ahead and press retouch. And there you go. Selecting all of them together has enabled us in just a few seconds to make this overall change to Sally's face, which has really improved the image. If you're someone that's thinking, wow, this is great. I'd like to do this with multiple images because I've got lots of photos in Lightroom or lots of photos that I want to edit. Then you can simply do this by pressing batch retouching. And then what this will do is it will enable you to choose images from your computer and then you can apply these effects to all of your images in one go. Now, I haven't got time today, unfortunately, to look at all of the plugins that Retouch for me offers. But I will say that the other ones are also brilliant too. You've got dust removals, you've got white teeth, skin mask where you can just select the skin in the image. You've got fabric, which also blends and smooths out the fabric and creases, which can be very annoying sometimes in a shoot. You've got clean backdrop, which gets rid of the dirt and smooths out the backdrops in your images. And finally, you've also got mattifier, which is very good for smoothing out highlights in the skin when you've got those real bright highlights which just detract from the overall image. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video today. Remember, there is a 30% off discount in the description if you're interested in this great software. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.